So with this video, I'm going to do a little exercise of tearing apart a string and putting it back together again. This is an exercise for a piece of code you're actually going to write. So the very first thing we're going to start with is we're going to start with names with the last name, comma, first name. And so in this particular case, of course, we need to find out where that comma position is so that we can actually start tearing this string apart. Because what we want to do is we want to convert it to a first name, last name situation. So if you use the in string command on a string that's last comma first and ask it to find the position of the comma character, it will return a value if there's a comma there and it will return a value telling you where that comma is. So in this particular case it would return position 6. Well using that number 6 we can use the left string function to pull off the first name. So that ought to be a fairly simple task. And you might want to store that in a variable called last name. Using that comma position again, you can grab the right portion of the string. You need to be a little bit thoughtful here though, because using the right string function is not the easiest way to go here. Using the mid string function is much easier, so think about that. And once you pull that right portion off, once you copy that out, you can store that in the first name. A variable called first name would be useful, I think. And finally, once you have those two parts, you can put them together by simply concatenating the left portion of the string onto a space and onto the right portion of the string. Or concatenating, of course, the first name, space, and last name variables. And Bingo, you've just converted this string from a last comma first to a first space last. Okay, give that a shot. So one way to tackle this first name, last name program is to do it very step by step. In other words, let's say we wanted to figure out where the comma position was in the person's name and just put it into this cell right here on the sheet. So essentially what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a for loop that's going to execute over rows 2 through 5 in column 1. And inside the body of that for loop, you're going to basically use a number of steps to accomplish each piece, one piece at a time, until you actually get the name converted to first space last. So if you think about grabbing the value out of this cell right here, you might say something like, you know, f full name is set equal to cells row, we're going to use a row variable for our for loop, comma 1. So cells row comma 1 is the current cell we're grabbing the name out of. And then you can use the offset. Once you figure out where that comma position is using in string, you can use offset. You can say cells row, whatever row you're on, comma 1 dot offset, and offset in this case, zero row, one column over. And you can assign to that that number you pull out using in string. So you'd say something along the lines of cells row comma one dot offset zero comma one is set equal to whatever your comma position variable name is. And then you could use offset zero comma two, offset zero comma three, offset zero comma four to place these other values into these correct cells. Then your loop goes around and now row is the next number down and you just have that loop over that same piece of code again. Let's take a quick peek at my thoughts here on organizing this. So you know you got to declare some variables up at the top and, and then you have to do these individual steps that you see here. Well you know I'm, I'm thinking that this whole thing needs to be embedded in a for loop so you need to get yourself a for loop going and you know down here at the bottom you're going to have the end of your for loop, you know, next for loop, you know, whatever the next statement is. And then all of this code right here, of course, would need to be indented inside your for loop. So the first thing is you're going to grab the cell contents and store it in a variable for the, you know, last name, comma, first. Then uh, using that name and the in string, string function, you're going to find the comma position and store that into a variable. 
And then using that comma position and the left string function, you should be able to figure out what the last name is and store that into a variable and also store it up on the sheet. Because remember, I wanted you to see these intermediate steps up on the sheet. So again, you're going to then take that comma position in mid and you're going to store that into a variable and also store it up on the sheet. And finally, you'll concatenate the first name, a space, and the last name and put it up on the sheet. You don't necessarily have to store that in a variable unless you want to. And then you come around on the loop again and you do the same thing for the next row down in your program. So essentially this is a very kind of step-by-step -step approach. One thing you could do is you could just get your for loop set up and see if you can store the name from the sheet into a variable and maybe just message box that on the screen. And then once you get that working, come down here and see if you can get the in string to work and just message box the variable that stores the value of the comma and see if that's working properly. And if that's working properly, you'd come down to the next step and you'd say, okay, let's see if I can grab off the last name. And if that works, again, you can use the message box or you can step using the F8 key and see if you're grabbing off the last name properly. But do it one step at a time. Programming is a very much step by step. You don't want to try to bite off more than you can chew at one shot. So you just do it step by step and see how the program's going. And if you can't get past the first step, if you can't get this line of code right here running, there's no point in continuing. You just need to get some help on that very first line. So go ahead and see what you can do. And when you get finished, your sheet ought to have all of these boxes filled in. And finally over here in this last column, of course, you'd have the first name, space, last name, the final conversion. So give that a shot.